What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now today I've got for you one of the most incredible stories that I've read in a very long time. Just listen to this. I'm not going to spoil it, but have a listen to this for an indication of what you're about to hear. This man sadly comes across his wife cheating on him in his own house. Next, he secretly pulls out his phone to record the action. But after that is where things get a little bit weird. He says in his own words that from that moment, he could not stop watching the recording of his wife cheating on him back again and again. There are a couple of updates to come in this story, which are even crazier than that. But without further ado, let's get into this one. Make sure you are subscribed so you never miss a story as crazy as this again in the future. I recorded my wife cheating on me and I can't stop watching it. This was originally posted on July the 3rd, 2024. A couple of weeks ago, I decided I wanted to surprise my wife with a kid-free night out. My parents live about an hour and a half away from us and I arrange for the kids to stay with them for the weekend. Usually when I go to my parents, I'm gone until later in the evening. We spend all day there and leave around dinner time. This time I was dropping the kids off and immediately going home so that I could surprise my wife and we could go out as soon as possible. I'd made reservations at a nice restaurant and I was hoping to go to a few places for some drinks first. I left at 8.30 and was back in our housing plan before 12.30. As I pulled onto my street, I saw a truck parked in front of my house. I didn't recognize it. I assumed it was someone seeing the neighbors though because it's not that unusual for someone to park in front of our house. I parked a few houses away thinking I would sneak into the house and surprise my wife instead of pulling into the driveway and going in the garage. I went in through a basement door. I was as quiet as possible, but as soon as I walked in, I heard her making sounds from the floor above. When I first heard it, I thought she was just by herself, maybe having some personal time. I didn't want to interrupt her privacy and embarrass her, so I was going to go back to my car and just go in the garage so that she would know I was home. Then I heard a man's voice. I immediately felt sick. My heart felt like it was going to explode out of my chest. It's hard to describe how I felt in this moment. I decided to go upstairs. I had no desire to confront them. I just wanted to see what was going on. I moved slowly and quietly and went up the stairs. The door was halfway open. The kitchen was empty, but I could tell they were in the living room. It was obvious what was going on at this point by the sounds. There was no way for me to look in the living room without them seeing me. I pulled out my phone and opened my camera app. I put my phone just around the corner of the wall. Now this part is so hard to write. I could see my wife with a man I didn't recognize. I won't go into detail of what they were doing, but I think you can figure it out. I started recording it. I was thinking that I needed a record of it for whatever I decided to do in the future. I just stood there in my kitchen, watching this all unfold on my phone screen. I felt like I could just scream at any moment, but for some reason I just froze completely. This went on for several minutes. She finally jumped off of him and made a comment about going to the bedroom and they went upstairs. She even made a comment about how much time they had left. I walked into the living room and found the guy's pants. I took his wallet out and took pictures of his driver's license. I know his name and his address now. I've never met him. I have no idea how my wife knows him. I left the house the same way I entered. I went back to my car and cried like the pathetic man I am. I decided to watch the video to make sure it recorded. I watched it all. I'll spare the details, but I sat in my car for at least half an hour. I couldn't drive to my parents and get the kids as I'd have to explain why. I decided that I'd pull in the driveway, open the garage and just pretend like I was there to surprise her. I took my time getting into the house. I made a lot of noise. When I saw her, she was very flustered, asking me why I was home, etc. She was in a robe and said she was just getting ready for a bath. I told her about my plans and she seemed excited. She poured us both a glass of wine and said we should pregame before getting ready. I don't think I talked much, really. She took me into the living room. I'm not proud of what I let happen. I could faintly see the guy sneaking downstairs and going to the basement stairs, but I didn't say or do anything. I just let my wife continue doing what she was doing to me. Since that day, I've watched the video of her repeatedly. I can't bring myself to make any decisions on what I should do next. She seems to know that something is wrong with me because she's asked a few times if I'm okay. I feel worthless and every time I hit a low point, I watch that video again. I feel like I've watched it at least 10 times a day since I caught them. Okay, crazy, crazy start to this one. Now, good news. 
There are a couple of updates to get into, but before we get into that, let's first of all jump into some comments from the people of Reddit on this original post. Somebody said, there are two things you should not do in this situation. One, do not look for revenge against her and or the guy. It will just hurt you more and worst case, put you in jail. And two, don't let her hurt you like this again, because if you stay with her, she will. OP replied to that saying, I've spent multiple hours looking up this guy and I'm considering options from the ULTP sub. That is the r slash unethical life pro tips subreddit. Okay, pretty sure OP is just saying that he doesn't take this comment into account at all and might do something crazy. Somebody else said, so what happened to his pants and truck? He ran out without his pants. What did your wife say about the truck in the driveway? Did his wife kick his pants under the couch? Opie replies, his truck was on the street. I don't know where the clothes went to, but I assume she panicked as soon as she heard the garage open. Now, this is an interesting comment. Somebody said, Opie, I'm a bit confused here. You were still able to go through with your plan to take her out on a surprise date and you were able to look her in the face, eat dinner and act like there's nothing wrong? Not really, Opie replied. We didn't stay out late and we went home early. She did ask a few times if something was wrong. I tried getting drunk to get through it, but it was just too hard. Okay, let's get into the first update here posted just 10 days later, which will reveal a lot more about the situation. I stopped watching the video after reading all the comments on my first post. It's helped clear my mind and allowed me to focus on the next steps. This has allowed me to be mostly back to my normal self for both my kids and my job. I've gone through my wife's phone and found nothing. I searched the guy's name from the driver's license. I figured out how they met. He's a landscaper. She was calling some a few months ago to clean up our yard and ended up getting some mulching and cleanup done. I've driven past his house many times. I think he's single as I couldn't find any records of other people living at that address. I've only seen a truck parked in the driveway when I've driven by. I've been avoiding my wife after the kids are in bed to try to limit one-on-one -on -one time. I don't want any awkward conversations and I also don't wanna have sex. I've mostly been successful with this, but I did slip up one night when I had a little too much to drink. I hated myself for it the next day. I don't believe she has seen him since the day I caught them. I've been paying attention any time she's gone. Look, I obviously can't track her 100%. I've read about Apple AirTags, but I use Android. I'm guessing any app I'd put on her phone may be discovered. I have installed a doorbell camera on our house though, so I can always see the street. When I did this, my wife didn't say anything. We continue to do things as a family as we normally would. I've done my best to not let her know what I know and to continue to be a good dad to my kids. The weird thing I'm dealing with now is that she's planned a night out with a friend for drinks. It's a friend from work, so I don't know her at all and I'm not connected with this person on social media. When she told me, I made up some excuse about work and said I couldn't watch the kids. She ended up getting our neighbor to agree to babysit. Now I'm debating if I should follow her to really see if she's meeting her friend or it's the guy. It seems like I'm heading towards a confrontation either way when I just want everything to go back to normal. I'm going to leave my house soon and pretend to be going to work. I'll probably just go to a bar to kill time until I can drive by the place she's supposed to be going to. I am filled with freaking dread about all of this. Oh my goodness me. This guy, I'm sorry. He's just killing himself. Goodness me. I mean, the sentence, I just want everything to go back to normal. I feel so bad for him, but my brother, it's never going to be. I think as soon as you, you stop doing this, the sooner you can, you can end it all and, and start to move on because this is never going to lead to any sort of conclusion that you're happy with. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. Okay, let's get into the second update. This was posted on July the 20th, 2024, a week after the first update. I've had so many messages asking how I'm doing that I felt I should probably post an update. On the night when she was going out with her friend, I still pretended I'd work and left the house after the babysitter arrived. I went to a bar and had a few drinks. Then I drove over to the restaurant she said she was going to. I saw her car in the parking lot. I'm not gonna lie, I was on edge and incredibly nervous despite the drinks earlier. I was so worried I'd walk in and see her with that guy. I was hoping to sneak in and get a look without being seen, but that failed miserably. She saw me as soon as I walked in the door. She was actually with her friend and not the guy. We had the, what are you doing here? Thought you were working, expected conversation. I told her work ended early, so I wanted to stop by to say hi since we had a babysitter. I left after a couple of drinks and went home to relieve the sitter. So many of you have commented on my last post that I need to confront her. 
and I decided in that moment that I would. I couldn't hold it in any longer. I got the kids to bed and I waited for her to come home. Here we go. Finally, this guy is doing the right thing. I watched the video again to remind myself of what happened. Jesus, brother, how many times have you watched the video at this point? Do you need to watch it again? When she got home, she was surprised I was still up and apparently could tell from the way I looked that something was wrong. I poured it all out on her. It probably wasn't fair of me. I didn't even let her sit down. I told her everything. I played part of the video to show her what I saw. I called her some harsh names, said she ruined our lives. In that moment, I was incredibly angry. She was very upset, heavily crying and shaking. She told me how terrible she felt about everything that happened. I told her she had to tell me everything that happened with that guy and she laid it all out. She cheated on me twice with him. After the time I saw them, she cut things off because she knew it was wrong and she loves me. I asked her for proof, but she said she'd already deleted and blocked him on her phone, Facebook and Instagram. She did tell me that he is single and knew she was married. She asked me to delete the video, but I refused. She asked me why and I really didn't have a reason other than I feel I need to hold on to it for now. She got a little angry at that and asked if I was keeping it to watch again. It was very late at this point, so we decided to go to bed and talk more the next day when we had more time to think. She continued to apologize repeatedly for what she did. We slept separately that night. Over the next few days, things between us seemed better. I felt some relief that it was all out in the open now. We've continued to talk and it feels like we are on a path of staying together and moving past this. Really? I've made it clear that she is never to see or talk to that guy again. While things do feel like they're improving, I'm still struggling to trust her. Worse yet is that I have a trip coming up for work and I'll be gone for a few days. I've told her that I'm not comfortable with leaving right now, but I can't skip this trip. My boss made it clear that I'm needed. She said I could put cameras up in the house to keep an eye on her if it would make me feel better. Sadly, I may do that. I'll be gone for at least three days. Overall, things are okay. The kids are oblivious to anything that's going on and it seems that slowly my wife and I will eventually get back to normal. I hope so, at least. I'm a little ashamed to admit that I've watched the video a few times since all of this. I'm thinking that I should probably delete it so it's gone from my life. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, there we go. That is the end of the update so far and the culmination of the story, I suppose, at the time of recording. Um, that last update was posted just 10 days or so ago at the time of recording so who knows there might be more but for now that is it before i give my thoughts just picked out one comment from somebody down below on this second update saying i remember your first post did she say how it went from yard work to him in your bed what was the development opie replied she did he came to the door to ask to wash his hands in the laundry sink they struck up a conversation he came out again to finish up the work and they got to talking again they already had each other's phone numbers and she said some texts were exchanged and she basically made up work for him to come out a third time. That third time led to her cheating. So there we go. That is the end of that one for now. As I said, just 10 days ago, that second update was made. So who knows? There might be more to come. The main takeaway that I've got from this and guys, let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me is I feel so bad for this man. Not really because of what's happened to him, to be honest. I mean, I do feel bad for him because of that. But the main thing is, this guy is just, I'm sorry, got, he's got no backbone at all. Like, he's just a shell of an individual. I don't mean that, by the way. Of course, I'm very sorry for what happened. But was this guy or has this guy always been like this? Just a, a walking doormat? Or has this debacle made him like this? I just, I don't know. I feel like once someone's cheated on you, it's just done, isn't it? It just has to be. How can you go on when, when you know that you're going to have to install cameras in your house when you go away to trust that person? I mean, realistically, the trust is completely gone. Therefore, the relationship's failed. Ugh, this guy's saying, I want things to go back to normal. I feel like we're on the path to redemption. It should be fine after this. Just got to, you know, install a, a full camera system internally in my house. Make sure I track her on an app on her phone so I know exactly where she is at all times, even though I've got an Android. Let's uh, just hire out a permanent SWAT team as well so we know where she is. Like, it's, it's done. It's done. I feel bad for this guy that he hasn't just sacked things off already. I'm just reading through the comments on the best of Redditor updates post where everything is collated. Um, people are saying, quote, I just want things to go back to normal. Oh boy. And someone has said, some people just cannot seem to love themselves. 
Again, someone said, we've continued to talk and it feels like we're on a path of staying together and moving past this, in quotes. And then saying, boy, if I had a dollar. Exactly how I feel. Comment down below, guys. What do you think? Am I being too harsh? Is there a road to redemption here? I just don't think there is at all. But yeah, as always, interested to see if you guys agree or disagree with me. Let me know down below. But that is going to do it for this one. If you want another crazy story just like this, it's on screen right now. Subscribe to the channel, as I said, so you never miss one of these in the future. I mean, who would want to miss a story like this? Just crazy. And I will catch you on the next one.